Okay, guys. I know a lot of you are probably asking when you watch videos, and especially some of you new people, you're probably asking yourself, what, why Vertical Balance Golf? Well, Vertical Balance Golf was uh, developed by myself with all the information that I've ever seen from anywhere from Jackie Burke all the way to Stuart Cartwright, the broom guy, and everybody in between, okay? All that information, all gathered into one. I just took little bits of information from each and every one of them and put together Vertical Balance Golf. What, you, what most of them have talked about are the four principles. Most of them talk about balance, right? They talk about stabilization, they talk about stillness, they talk about level, and they talk about being neutral, okay? All of them talk about that in one way or another. So there's your four, four principles. Now what I did was simply take those four principles and pick out, nitpick, little bitty pieces of information from all these other, from all this other di different information and put a system together called Vertical Balance Golf. That's all I did. It's all been done before. You've already heard it all. It might have been differently said from differently people, from different people, but it's all been said before. It's all been done before. So there's not too many major pieces to this method, if you want to call it a method, okay? There's not very many at all, okay? So uh, that's how Vertical Balance Golf was born, all right? So, uh, a lot of you uh, will are starting to find out probably how, how good it is. And we could keep going with vertical balance golf on on out there in a, in a distance for three or five more years, but why do that? Because what happens when you do things like that, you go down these little rabbit holes all the time. And then you get so far down the road and in so many rabbit holes that you have lost the basics of the method. You've already got all the basics. It's done. You don't need anything else. Uh, so that's that. Now, let me show you something that you probably aren't aware of, but maybe some of you have picked up on. And one of the, one of the, uh, and we'll we'll review vertical balance golf in, in just a second, but I, but what I want to show you is uh, the turning point. The pros do it too. The turning point, you know, where the handle, where they'll get to a, to a certain area, and the handle will come up, and it will go back. Watch today if they do on on uh, on the golf tournament today when they're doing the, the FedEx. It's the last tournament. If I've got a caddy view of a person swinging and it shows it in slow motion, you'll you'll pick it up if you know what to look for. And I just showed you what to look for, but let me show it to you again. Because this is why they're pros. And this is why they hit the ball so far. Let's just kind of review the turning point. The turning point is when you take this club and it shoots out this way instead of coming in here this way. Okay, and everybody, you know, talks about you got to come from the inside it out and all that stuff. No, you come from this way. That, that's the turning point. We as amateurs do it on this side because we cannot do what I told you in that other bit. We cannot. We we're not able to rotate hard enough and fast enough to square this club face up. So we do it back here in order to square that club face up and add speed to what we're doing and use the dynamic loft of this club. Here's what the pros do. The pros do it over here. When they come into it, they're all, <laughs> they're all rotated and they've got that spine tilt or that, the spine, the, uh, side bend, you know what I'm talking about, the side bend, you see a lot of pretty pictures like this, they got that side bend, it's 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 uh, squaring up the club, but at the bottom, they hit ball first. When they start hitting ball first, and then the ground, when that club 
strikes the ball first, you will notice that this handle will do this. It will go up, up, and back, okay? But they'll do it right here. What, what that does, because they're doing it over here, they deal off whatever club that they're using, and that's why they hit it so damn far. That's why they hit eight hours, 180 yards, all right? All right, that's, that's fact. So when they get over here, they're doing the turning point right when they hit the ball, like that. And you'll hardly ever pick it up unless you see a slow motion of it. And they get shaft lean, and that's where they deal off the club and make that eight iron into a six iron or whatever. And that's why they hit it so, so far. Okay, and that's all there is to it. That's, so the point is, we can't do that, so why try it? But we're told over and over and over that we gotta get shaft lean and all this other bullshit <clears throat> when we can't do it ourselves, all right? And I've, I've explained why you can't. So that's vertical get, uh, uh, balanced golf. The reason why it was born, and I've showed, shown you some of the some of the fallacies, the myths about the golf swing. And in vertical balance golf, there's none of this. <clears throat> there's no rolling of the, there's none of that, okay? There's none of coming from the inside out. There's no swinging around ourselves. It's up, down, and up, okay? That's what it is. This grip, when you when you split your hands like this, that acts like a hub. Okay, that makes those wrists uh, react like they need to to get the turning point. That's where you get a lot of your speed. <clears throat> get those, get your arms off your off your rib cages. For you that can, take your arms and do this. There's some of you that probably can't do that, but you know, you'll be in here like this. You, you can't do this. Go ahead and, and, and do everything else in vertical balance golf and you'll be okay, all right? And just remember the sequence. The sequence is simple. It's in, Jackie Burke, up, down, and you can pull down like I showed you in that one bit because you're pulling in a line. All the energy is going to this club head. You can't pull from this position because when you do, that opens up the club face. Okay? And that's why you slice. But you can come in down here and then you hit your turning point, which throws the club out. <clears throat> of course, you go to neutral. The club comes out, you're in neutral, and then you just fold your arms back up. That's all there is to it. You don't need anything else. If you try to add something else or take away from, from vertical balance golf, you're just hurting yourself. So study it. There's not much to know. There's not very many positions to know. Uh, there is a sequence. Just stick with that and you'll be okay. Talk to you guys later. Bye.